All right, welcome back. And today we get to learn all about the formula for how we kind of dissect and recalibrate and understand our feelings. This is one of my favorite things that's called, I call this name that feeling and your BFF because if you don't know what BFF means, it just means best friend forever. And what I'm saying is that the word because is one of your best friends in understanding yourself because when we ask ourselves, or we sorry, when we label what we're feeling and then we at, and say I'm feeling that because, we tend to be able to talk ourselves through so much information and understanding. And the reason that this works is because it's the meaning that we attach it. Some people would say, that the th you know, there's all different ways that people say this in the world. There's like, people will say, you know, it's your thought creates your feeling, your feeling creates your behavior. There's people that spread it out and add more steps. There's people that simplify it. But what this relates to in terms of feelings is that with the thought, you're creating a meaning. So really it's the meaning that we attach to things that decide on how we feel. So I'll give you an example. If you are, in a relationship and your partner gets upset with you and every time your partner gets upset or gives you feedback or wants to talk about something the meaning you attach to that is this means we're breaking up then the feeling you will feel is upset and fear and you know just negativity and so our power in this instance in calibrating our feeling and so this is all about as the negative feelings come up, kind of dissecting and reflecting on them to uncover the meaning that we're attaching to them and, and sort of, we want to clean up our meanings. I know it's kind of a funny way to say it, but it, we, we, we tend to have these things that we've just allowed to be meaning. So for example, someone that is having that response, this means really might have had parents that when they fought would threaten leaving each other. You know, maybe, maybe one person would leave the house or like get in the car and drive away. And so we have this blueprint that says when people in relationships fight, they leave. And so when we see that, we attach that meaning to it when in fact, we actually might be in a really healthy, committed, meaningful relationship and our partner just might be trying to communicate to us something that's important because coming back to intention, their intention is that they want things to be good and they want to be with us. But if we attach this meaning to it, then we feel this fear and negativity and it has the opposite the opposite result of what we want. You know, another thing too is, you know, maybe you're on a health and fitness routine and you weigh yourself and your weight's gone, it's been going down and now it's gone up a pound. It, well, if you attach the meaning to that, that this means I'm failing, it's not working, then you feel awful. You'll feel all these negative feelings. And so again, using this formula, which we're going to talk through in a second, this is an opportunity to reframe that meaning so that the feeling that we get isn't so negative. So this is the way that this works. So it's name your feeling and then that BFF because. And so it always starts with saying, I'm feeling X. And I'm going to write this little formula down below in the notes as well if, for to refer to. And of course, you're taking notes as well. So you're going to remember this. So it starts with naming that feeling. And so I'm going to use it. I'm going to use an example and so we'll talk you through it first. So you say, I'm, I'm feeling this feeling. I'm feeling X. And then you go, and I'm feeling X because. And then you keep adding becauses until you get to sort of the root of it. And then you start to ask yourself, is this even true? Is this meaning or the story that I'm telling myself even true? And so I'll give you an example. I um, broke up with my ex-fiance right before COVID and then obviously it was the pandemic and so I didn't really get, get out and interact with new people. And then I finally things started to open back up and it was kind of like the first time in two years I had been out, I had been social, I had been meeting people. And I was at this event and I met this person and there was just an instant connection. There was a spark, there was an attraction, I could feel it. It was just, it was real, it was there. It made me excited because I'd obviously been single for a long time and I was really excited to meet someone. And we were talking, talking, talking. We spent quite a bit of time together. And then uh, this person told me that they actually had a partner, which I mean, I felt sort of foolish for, for not realizing, but in that moment, I felt so upset and hurt and rejected. And I just had to 
leave the situation. And, I, and I, I, I think I pretended that I needed to go do something. I think I pretended I needed to go to the bathroom. I just left because I was so upset. And I went off somewhere on my own and I actually cried. And I was, I was just so upset. And I felt, I didn't even know why I was upset at that point. I just felt upset. And then I started to use this tool. And so what that looked like is I went, I'm feeling hurt. Okay, I'm feeling hurt. And I'm feeling hurt because I feel rejected. Okay. And I feel rejected because this person already has a partner. And then you bring in, well, is this true? Well, no, I'm not being rejected. Rejected would be if they were single and, you know, I asked them to go on a date or something and then they said no. That's rejection. Already being in a partner, that's not rejection. It felt like it in that moment, but it's not actually even true. And actually, this connection that we felt was real and there was a spark there. And this was someone that I really liked. And actually what this means, this is just showing me the kind of person that I want to be with, the kind of person that I'm attracted to, the kind of person that I click with. And that actually feels really good because I've grown so much and healed so much that I felt like this kind of person wouldn't have even been available to me before. And the fact that they just has a partner, well, that's just situational because based on the interaction that we've had, if they didn't have a partner, there'd probably be something there. And if there'd be something there, then... That means that someone else who's just as great, maybe even better, who's going to be single, I can have that spark with, and there's potential for a relationship there. And that feels good. And that actually feels great. That's the real meaning. That's the real story. And literally, in about five minutes, I went from crying to laughing out. I felt like a crazy person laughing out loud on my own because I had gotten down to the meaning and realized that the meaning I was attaching to it wasn't even true, it wasn't even reflective of my experience or my reality. And once I updated the meaning, I felt so much better. And so that's what I mean by calibrating, calibrating your feelings by one of the steps of that is gonna be going through all of these negative feelings when we feel them and doing this formula, naming the feeling and then asking because, 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 and is this true? And then kind of tweaking those meanings. And as you go through you know, over the next while and apply this formula to all of the negative emotional responses you have to things, you're really gonna be able to tease out these meanings that you've got that aren't serving you. And so if we go back to that example of every time my partner leaves, I feel upset and I feel upset because I feel like they're going to leave me and again. Isn't it funny? It comes back to the thing. I feel rejected and I feel unwanted. I feel abandoned and I feel this way because, well, that's what past relationships always did or that's what my parents always did or that's what I've always seen in the past. Is this true? Well, no, actually this partner has never shown me anything in their words or actions that makes me feel that they want to leave. In fact, they're constantly telling me how much they love me and how much they want to be with me. And they literally even said as they brought this up, hey, I want to talk about this because I want us to be in a better place. So maybe, just maybe, all of that's true. And I need to look at this as an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to communicate, an opportunity to better my relationship. And I can, it's funny, even just talking about this, I feel a shit, emotional shift inside myself. As you go through that, it already can allow you to feel better. And so we're recalibrating our emotions, recalibrating the meanings to help us have guidance. Same thing with, you know, you get on the scale and you've gone up a pound after losing 10 pounds. Well, you know, weight loss journeys, my, co my coach tells me this all the time, weight loss journeys aren't linear, but they are moving in one direction. So it might not be a straight line like this. It might be little ups and downs, but the whole time we're getting better and better. And so that's good. Or maybe you gained some muscle or maybe you drank a lot of water. Maybe you're really hydrated today. Maybe you normally weigh yourself in the morning and now you've weighed yourself in the evening. Maybe it doesn't mean that you've gained a pound of fat. And even if it does, it's just an opportunity to keep moving forward. So actually you're not a failure. You're just on a journey and now you have more information and information is always the key to understanding. So going through that, naming that feeling because, 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 and then is this even true is becoming going to become your superpower for recalibrating your feelings 
and your meanings and understanding yourself. And as you recalibrate, you start to be able to trust more and more your feelings because as your meanings sort of get sorted out, your feelings become more and more authentic and more genuine and you can really lean into them and trust them and let them be that compass that lets that guides you through life and that feels good, that feels great, so let that feel great. I hope you enjoy this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.